Hi folks, welcome to another stall13.com video. We're going to talk about solar powered fence chargers. One of my best friends here at the ranch. Um, a lot of people have a lot of things negatively to say about electric fence. I'm not going to get into those. Uh, I may do that as a topic on the radio show on Sunday nights that you can get to off of our website, stall13.com. Uh, but we're going to talk about the positive sides. When you have a solar powered fence charger, they're not nearly as strong as one that plugs into the wall. Uh, 110. They're, they're extremely weak and everything must be done as best as you can. And we're going to go through this real quickly. These are designed to be mounted on a T-post is what we did. You can see we have this wire spiraling down here. This is actually the ground wire here. We have the positive wire encased in old garden hose. And I'll explain that to you in a moment. We actually have two ground rods. We have one ground rod right here that I'm hitting with my feet that will zoom down in and you can see how the ground wire is tied to it. Then we have this other ground rod over here about five feet away that's up a little higher that lets people know that this is buried. I pulled the ground wire up out of the ground so you can see it. Now you can lay your ground wire on top of the ground but what I do with my ground wire since it's a ground wire is I smash it. I hold it down with one foot and I actually just kind of cover it up. Now covering up your ground wire like this does a couple of things for you folks. See I'm just kind of filling it in. It's only about two inches under the ground. But it's a ground wire. It's designed to make sure that your fence is properly grounded. So by burying it just means that you have that much better ground for your fence. Electric fence is all about the ground folks. Now we keep this weed whacked and mowed and we really try hard to protect our ground wire because without a ground you don't get a very good shock. So as you can see it hasn't taken me very long, not even a minute, just to tamp and to rebury that wire. Because now, not only is that ground wire connected to these ground rods, but the wire itself is also grounded, which makes for a better fence. The better ground you have, the better, zzz, the better zap, zap your fence is going to have. Now, we just have electric fence wires or ground wire. We just have a simple electric uh, fence wire that's going through this garden hose. It snakes through this hose over here on the ground where then it's buried until we start using it on the electric fence. This lays above the ground like this. It's easy to see. It's safe. This is actually on the outside of where the horses are. You really don't want to have your electric fence charger in the same area where your horses are. Very simplistic installation. Very easy to move. As you can tell this charger looks pretty bad. Well, it's about six, seven years old, and I'm on my third battery. Batteries in electric fence chargers are only good for about two years. When, if you have an electric fence charger that's a year old or two years old and it doesn't charge anymore, the little red light when you cover it up doesn't seem to blink anymore, chances are it's just the battery. There's no moving parts. The other thing that is remiss is every once in a while take your handkerchief or a rag and just do this. Dust off the solar panels. That's the other thing that people make a mistake. You don't want bird poop on them or anything like that. Just take this and dust it off because this is where you get your energy from right here. This solar panel. All these things factor in as to the efficiency of the zap of your fence. Now, pretty simple, nice, safe. We keep this mowed, weed whacked, raked. If your garden hose laying on the ground, folks, cannot be seen by the grass, well someone could get hurt or trip on it. This is just a nice safe installation. This has been another stall13.com video. Take care of yourselves and take care of your horses.